Hi, I'm Tanya, and welcome to Tanya Loves Japan. Hey guys, how are you doing today? Anyway, um, I am doing this video because uh, there is a really, really awesome and cool project that needs to get our funding by May 4th. May 4th, you all. Um, and if you're new to my channel or have never seen it before, please just take a listen. Have you seen this guy before? <laughs> Here's a picture. No? You, you don't know who these guys are? Okay, let me do another picture. Have you seen this guy before? Okay, now I've got y'all's attention. Okay, his name, as a YouTube channel, it's Mr. Jones, or he's known, like, by many, many people, either through the internet and TV. He is known as Onigiri Man. He is funny and awesome, and he's got, him and his friends have got great goals, and they have made a documentary. The documentary is called Big in Japan. And I will leave a couple little clips of the um, documentary and stuff here towards the end of the video so you guys can see it. Or I'll just, you know, little clips, you know, somewhere around here. Anyway, um, they uh, their goal was to find out, you know, how people become big in Japan. I mean... You've got several, I mean, there's so many people from either television and they're not native to Japan. These are people like from Australia or um, Canada or wherever that aren't Japanese. And they have made it huge in Japan. And that was their goal to make a documentary about being big in Japan and what it's like and their different um people's stories i don't want to give too much away anyway if you go put a link in the description box below or click on the eye up in the corner and um you'll be able to uh go to that video and the only thing is is like i said they need donations this money that they are raising and everything is not going to them it is actually going to help fund the documentary that they want to show you know there is you know legal rights and everything from clips of lady beard you know when he was first starting out and different um shows and all this stuff and those to be able to use those clips in a video documentary even though some people think that fair use allows you to do that it's not entirely true you really need to get permission to uh, use their films, the clips, audio, a lot of different stuff, especially for a film documentary. And this film documentary is great and is fun. And like I said, if you watch the clip, even if you're only able to donate, you know, ten dollars, a dollar, whatever, you know, every little bit helps. But we really, really, really need to get that push to twenty-five thousand. They've already got about. 15,000 in donations, but, you know, there are little tiers where you can get uh, special things. Myself, if I had a thousand dollars, man, I would be doing that top tier because it's just awesome. I mean, their documentary is so great and, it, it, you know, lets people know stuff that, you know, not many people know about and not many people know that Lady Bear is originally from Australia. So, I mean, come on. Um, like I said, this is a great film. Uh, if you want to see live, um, well, it's not live now. It was about mm, several hours ago. But on um, Victor, give me a flake man's point uh, five uh, uh, vlog and stuff. He, uh, him, and Hiko Simon did a live interview with him and found out more about the reason why they were doing the um, video documentary and what the money is being used for 
and actually what their top goal is, if they are able to get full funding that they need, will be released, it'll be a cinema release. Fortunately, it'll only be released in Australia and Japan first, and then they were going to be able to do like a video on demand. But it's really, really cool and really awesome. And in one of the tiers, I believe, you are able to, he will actually send you the video for you to be able to watch, you know, whenever you like on probably PC, your phone, whatever uh, media you have available. But that is really awesome of them also. So without further ado, here's a few clips um, from that documentary. Hi, I'm Dave. I'm a really ordinary person from Melbourne, Australia, and I'm the presenter of Big in Japan. Behind the camera there are my mates and co-directors, Lockie and Lewis. Hello. Hello. Big in Japan is a documentary that involves the three of us moving to Tokyo on an open-ended mission to try to make me famous. I want to become famous in Japan. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, because this is what we've got to work with. The idea of accessible celebrity, fame that anyone can have, is something that has only really emerged in the last 10 or 20 years with reality TV and social media. So as you can see from the little clips, um, this is going to be a wonderful and awesome documentary. And like I said, I'll put links in the description box below so you can go watch the full clip of the documentary that him and his buddies have come up with. Um, like I said, it's a great project and they did awesome work even just for the little clips that you get to see. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and share and uh, subscribe. Also, please, please, please go and donate. You know, every little bit helps. And I'm hoping and praying that by the 4th of May, which is about a week, almost two weeks, about two weeks, two weeks away, and to be able to get this totally funded. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.